locate a fission battery. Fission. Give a fission battery to Donovan. What's in here? Alfresco Lounge. Statesman Hotel Restroom. Remember, after using the restroom, don't just walk out without cleaning up, take a look around and see if there are any toilet tissues lying about and pick them up. The customer always appreciates a clean restroom. Currently 100% of seating is available. Examine the broken elevator panel and conclude that it is possible to repair it. Do you wish to repair it? Uh, let's leave that alone for now. Let's go help the rangers first. Started my timer again. Watch it, will you? Hello, reinforcements, huh? Crazy. Express elevator to the lobby has no power. You lack the skill needed to restore it to working order. a genuine rescue, eh? Hey there. Well. Donovan at your service. You break it, I fix it. Uh, I have a fission battery that will fix the express elevator. Let me have that thing. Give me a few minutes, and I'll have the elevator up and running. As soon as I get it online, we'll get out of here. They're gonna start like pouring in here or something. Good to see you. Good to see you in one piece. to see you in one piece. Not bad, kid. Oh. Oh. oh, we're on the first floor. I don't know where we were. Turn to Riley R Riley at Ranger Compound. She wasn't there. Good to see you. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad. Thanks, Donovan. You better go. Good to see you in one piece. Okay, let's teleport him.
Oh. Leave me alone. Stealth, medicine, melee. Statesman Hotel. of a battery. Is there anything in here? I gotta run the whole way back through here and collect everything.
Coley. To remember to save often while I'm collecting stuff, just in case I get stuck somewhere. Sledgehammer out. down to the lobby. I don't know where that brought me, but I'm not gonna. It didn't even give you any XP whenever you fix that. Lamps. I should use that hammer as a weapon. jump. There's probably like nothing in there, but it's just annoying that you press the jump button and it just doesn't do it. He did it again. I literally did it again. It's like he doesn't want to. He won't jump on this platform.
How long has it been since my guy slept? Get a comfy bed for this. Baseball glove, damn it. A note from little Moonbeam's father. That's freaking Sydney. My dearest little moonbeam, I know you've been waiting to hear what happened to me. I'm sorry I left you like I did. An important deal came up. One that might have let us get away from the shack we were living in. I came to the Statesman Hotel to meet the buyer and the deal went bad. We shot each other and now I think I'm dying. I won't make it out of this place. The ruins are crawling with super mutants. All I can do is record this and then hide up in one of the rooms. You're a strong girl, and I know you can use everything I taught you to survive alone. Please forgive me, sweetie. I only wanted to make the best for us. Daddy loves you very much. Goodbye. Aww. And if you can't say anything to her about that, that'll be so annoying. <laughs> because that's sad. And she hates him. Because she thinks, oops, she thinks he left her and was never coming back, but he, he wanted to come back and he got shot. So this is him. Oh, that sucks. I thought it was going to be a special one. That's cool that, that you can find that. I guess she's still at Rivet City. So, I'll have to go there after this. Oh, I know what's going to happen. I bet, I bet. She, since she, she has closure, she'll be like, well, I'm not going to do this anymore. Here's my ultra 10, 10 millimeter SMG. That's how you're supposed to get that the legitimate way, but.
I'd love to come back here again. Because of Theo's code thing. I think I I have gotten all this stuff. guy because I moved his skeleton. This is where he came from. That's right. Now I gotta get that elevator. Now I can't wait to go tell Sydney about that. I wonder what she'll do. This is considered an indoor location. I wonder why Theo wasn't wearing a Riley Rangers combat armor set. I never did see a room with a bunch of pillows in it.
Wanna do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho? No. No, you drug addict. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. But not at your supply place, though. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Uh, I kind of lost. Can you help me? I suppose. Uh, who's in charge around here? Depends. Chief Harkness is in charge of security. He patrols the whole city. Security bunks down in the tower. Dr. Lee kind of runs everything else. She's in the aft. That's the northeast end of the city. Uh, time for me to go. Later. <clears throat> She's got to be over here at some point. Sugar bombs. Oh, let's like wait three hours. Sydney seems like the kind Good of person that would what wake up at like one in the morning Welcome or in the Mary's afternoon. Galley. Can I take your order? Oh. Why is this place called Gary's Galley? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. Uh, what's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Yeah, what do you have? Here's a menu. Some crabs sound really good right now. Let's eat some crab. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I'd better get going, Angela. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, where's Sydney at? Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Loaf Cakes, <laughs> although the iguana is very popular, too. Yeah, the Myler Cake. I'm partial to the Myler Cakes myself. Then you are in for a treat. I'm hungry. Here is our menu, sir. Yeah, give me some more of those. Another satisfied customer. I should let you get back to your customers, Gary. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Man, these sound freaking good right now. Oh, no. That was scrum diddly umptious. Hey, Mei Wong. Where the hell does Sydney go? Hello. Hello. Mom, do I have to eat this? Shut your trap. You'll eat what I give you and be grateful for it. <laughs> Have or a seat anywhere. Someone will be, be with really you in a minute. Really sorry for. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? You don't have to be such a bitch. <laughs> oh really? My husband ran off and got himself killed, and left me to raise his little brat. So don't you tell me how I should or shouldn't be. Stop it! This oh, is. What <laughs> That was just my imagination. All kinds of good cams. I'll try that. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Well, can you tell me where Sydney went? Hey. In the common room? Hey. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. Whoa, this is a smoke room. Is she 
you still in here? I think I, I saw her walk out of here. What brings you by Rivet City today? I have to go. Well, I suppose that's goodbye then. Uh. Where the hell did Hello. Sydney go? Hello. Or not Sydney. In the science lab. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee is trying to save lives. And your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. I heard that the city council is debating putting railings in. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Oh, uh, that depends. What exactly are we talking about here? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, We've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Sounds like slavery to me. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'll be compensated for my services, right? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Sure, I'll go look. I'll look into finding your android for you. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. I 
I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What is an android exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. So, any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. This android wandered off. Why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. No matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. Why would an android feel guilt? Come on, Zimmer, what aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Okay, so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different. Special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. I've heard rumors about an android looking for special surgery. Rumors? That's all you have to offer me? I expect something more concrete. Now get out of my sight. On the flight yes. Deck. Well, I hope they do something. Remember the child that found the dead? You know where, uh, city is? Yeah, that was bad. I'm sure they'll do something about it. There was something about bad that said the dead gate could have been lit by a rock for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. I remember there was like a bar. I have a feeling that Sydney's in there. What is up with that guy opening the door? Common room? Hello. Dummy terminal inactive. Staley. What? Ooh. 
Oof. The muddy rudder. That's what I want. He's down. Sydney at. I might have to look it up. Stay chill, dude. Okay, dude. Baseball bat. Oh, oh, no handbrake for us. All right, I want to look it up. Where does Sydney go after? Fuck is that quest called? Stealing independence. By twenty two seventy seven she is hold up the rotenda of Oh yeah, Underworld. I forgot she said that. Is it the Museum of History? There you are. Hey. hey. What's up? Sydney, I found a note from your father. He didn't abandon you. What? Oh, oh my God. That's his voice. It's really him. I, I can't believe you brought this to me. Oh. I don't know what to say, but thank you. Wait, here, take my 10 millimeter Ultra SMG. It's never let me down. Besides, I won't really need it anymore. See you later. Bye. Yay, we got it. Fifty six damage. It's got 50 rounds in it. Hello. Another human with a death wish. Welcome to the mall, tourist. Crazy to stand out here. Aren't you afraid of the super mutants? Those knuckle draggers? Nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something, I don't know. Now there's other assholes. Other assholes? Yeah, you know, those humans like you. Well, maybe not like you, I don't know, but humans all the same. The Brotherhood of Steel guys with their testosterone and power armor. Those psycho talent company mercs. Those other assholes. I have to go now. Till next time, Sightseer. What are you? Willow. Ok, 
Okay, so... I guess we're going back. Uh, up here, right? Let's go to... No. Uh, wait, yeah, actually... There's two locations behind. Oh my goodness! Got like 16 rads there for a second. Oh god. Locations. How fast it runs out of condition, holy cow. Centaur. It's a miler. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know how we still killed him in one shot, but fine by me.
If there's like a water sound in the background, that means that there's gonna be my alerts. Oh my god. Dead. I got really close to a level up. Got two level ups left. to the light. I wonder if we can shoot through that. We can. This might be a hard shell. Yeah, it walks slow. Hey, you can turn around, please. Good job. I don't know how we killed that one in one shot. They're the hardest. Because they're most definitely not the hardest. You can shoot them in the head from like any angle. Unlike a hunter. Twenty eight XP, that's it.
you actually like, yeah, you can't it loads back here. <laughs> Can't get out. Ooh. Oh, shit. Where are you going? It'd be cool if he just forgot about me. Oh, he did. He did forget about me. <laughs> Four fifty-seven and a half minutes, and I have to piss like a racehorse. Holding it until it's an hour. Stop searching. Stop searching. Stop searching. Come on. Oh, God, come on. Yay. As long as you look this way. Turn around! Yeah, good job. Hatched in the toilet. Nothing's in these toilets. Just cracked eggs. Okay. I'm going to stop recording for now. Uh, in the next episode, we're probably just going to be hopping from location to location again. Trying to get skill books. This is where we're at right now. Getting closer. We're like slightly more than halfway of finding them all. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.